Raytheon has demonstrated its second-generation XOS2 exoskeleton. According to the creators, the exoskeleton transforms an ordinary soldier into a superhero, endowing them with exceptional superhuman abilities. The suit significantly accelerates and simplifies the activities of soldiers. One soldier in the exoskeleton can perform the work of at least two or three soldiers without it. The exosuit is highly mobile and does not restrict the movements of the person wearing it. It allows for activities like playing football, climbing stairs, and accommodating additional armor and weaponry that were previously only installed on lightly armored vehicles. The only drawback is its power source, a lithium-ion battery, which currently lasts only for four hours of operation, which may be insufficient for a forced march or real combat. Research and development of exoskeletons and robots are actively ongoing worldwide, and in the near future, they are expected to significantly enhance our physical capabilities. The hope remains that scientists will not delay their development for too long. The Russian state corporation Rostec has unveiled an unusual protective suit capable of withstanding even explosive ammunition blasts. Wearing such a suit, it is not frightening to walk through a mined field, and this is not just a hypothesis. Victoria Kolesnikova, a member of the testing group at the Central Scientific Research Institute of Mechanical Engineering, walked through a mined area on a range amidst explosions and fire, resembling the Terminator, and emerged unharmed and alive. During a thorough medical examination after the experiment, no injuries were detected in the employee, except for a bit of dirt. Unfortunately, it was not possible to determine the explosive power this development can withstand, and the information might be classified. The blast-resistant suit developed by Rostec is expected to be adopted by the Russian Ministry of Defense soon. Africa also has something to surprise the global defense industry. The Technological Center of Advanced Development's Katanka, a subsidiary of the Katanka Group, has introduced its latest creations, an armored vehicle and unique combat exoskeletons. Despite their somewhat clumsy appearance and almost complete lack of smooth lines, the Katanka exoskeletons not only protect the shooter's body, but also allow firing without touching the weapon with their hands. However, for these purposes, special drives are installed on the soldiers' backs, to which an automatic rifle is attached. At least that's what the developers claim, and the fact that soldiers and exoskeletons move very slowly is probably due to these being the very first versions of the device that haven't been refined yet, hence the angular appearance of the development. Exoskeleton technologies can provide new capabilities to military forces and enhance endurance and safety in industrial settings. Lockheed Martin continues to refine next-generation industrial products with a primary focus on electrically powered exoskeletons. The new Lockheed Martin exoskeleton called Onyx for the lower body has demonstrated its ability to enhance mobility and reduce user fatigue. By reducing efforts during walking and climbing, this technology can significantly assist soldiers and rapid response services in carrying the necessary mission equipment. Onyx conforms to the human body. Sensors located on the exoskeleton communicate speed, direction, and angle of movement to the onboard computer, which activates electromechanical actuators in the knees. The exoskeleton provides the necessary torque at the right time to aid in bending and straightening the knee. Ultimately, Onyx reduces the energy required for traversing terrain, squatting, or kneeling. These benefits are most noticeable when ascending or descending stairs or moving on inclined surfaces. British company Gravity Industries continues to test its Jetsuit Jetpack. In 2022, Gravity Industries tested the Jetpack in NATO search and rescue exercises in the forests of Slovenia. During the exercises, the company's founder, Richard Browning, flew along a mountain trail and delivered a blood plasma to a soldier in a ravine, simulating a wounded man. The Jetsuit is equipped with five gas turbine engines with a total power of 1,050 horsepower and a thrust of 144 kilograms. The Jetsuit can cover a distance of 5 kilometers in 3 to 4 minutes. The suit allows speeds of up to 137 kilometers per hour and can lift the pilot to an altitude of up to 3,500 meters. According to Browning, the suit is suitable for various terrains. He flew along a mountain trail between trees. Gravity Industries founder believes that this feature of the design can be useful in emergency situations and hard to reach places, such as mountains, gorges, and forests. Gravity Industries introduced the jetpack in 2017, and it is available for purchase at $438,000. In 2021, the British Royal Marines, in collaboration with Gravity Industries, tested the use of the jetpack for military personnel to board a ship from boats. 
In Russia, a student from the Faculty of Control Systems and Robotics at ITMO University, Alexei Ledyukov, has created an exoskeleton capable of lifting up to 80 kilograms in the future. Despite its lifting capacity, the suit itself is quite lightweight, allowing for active movement and even running. Russian military has already expressed interest in this development, and testing is underway at military training grounds. The primary frame of the exoskeleton is made of carbon fiber, aluminum, and steel pistons, with all other components 3D printed. This exoskeleton offers numerous advantages, including mobility, compact dimensions, and importantly, cost. Comparable robots of this kind typically cost about $110,000, while the production cost of this exoskeleton is approximately six times lower. The developers plan to introduce a new, more technologically advanced version of the exoskeleton later this year. The upgraded model will be significantly lighter while maintaining strength. Here is a development from the South Korean company, Hankook Mirai Technology, specializing in robotics, called Method 2. The Method 2 robot mech weighs around 1.5 tons, with a height of almost 4 meters. Each arm has a mass of 130 kilograms. The company claims to have spent about $200 million on creating this robot. Method 2 was developed with the involvement of Hollywood visual effects specialist Vitaly Bulgarov, known for his work on robots for movies like Transformers, Robocop, and Terminator. The developers state that Method 2 is designed to work in hazardous conditions, where humans cannot be present without protection. In the future, such robots could be used in manufacturing, loading and unloading operations, and military missions. Millions of people have seen similar robots in science fiction movies. Work on the robot is not yet complete, and the creators still need to address various challenges related to its balance and power systems. The Japan Ground Self-Defense Force Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency unveiled a research prototype named High Mobility Powered Exoskeleton. This Japanese military exoskeleton is a device powered from the hips and knees with a remote wireless interface. It is reported that this wearable robot can reduce the perceived weight by up to 30 kilograms. For example, a total load of 50 kilograms would feel like carrying only 20 kilograms. To achieve this, the wearable frame extends to the ground, although apparently, there is no drive in the shin except for a passive mechanism. Interestingly, the prototype reportedly reaches a walking speed of 4 kilometers per hour and a running speed of 13.5 kilometers per hour, making it one of the fastest exoskeletons in the world. For US residents, this is a walking speed of 2.5 miles per hour and a running speed of 8.3 miles per hour. A tablet is used to adjust the control parameters of the wearable robot. The military exoskeleton prototype is powered by four batteries located on the user's back, providing two hours of operation at a normal walking pace. Write in the comments which of the military exoskeletons you like the most. Subscribe to the Caro Show channel to stay tuned for our upcoming videos and check out our previous episodes. See you next time.